Hey guys, what is up? It is Cameron here from Unexclusive Gaming, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the More Mo Creatures mod for Minecraft uh, 1.1. Now, if this mod and Minecraft get updated to like 1.2 or 1.3, um, it'll be the exact same install process as I'm doing right now. So, if you're on a um, later version, I'm just going to change the title and the download links, and it'll be the exact same process for you. All right, so what you're going to need to install this mod is the actual mod folder that you download off there off their uh, form page, you're going to need GUI API, you're going to need custom mob spawner, you're going to need mod loader, and you're going to need audio mod, so that's five things, plus you're ne going to need either WinRAR or 7-zip, because you're going to need to have an archiving program. Alright, so once we have these zip folders on our desktop, we're going to want to right click on them and hit extract all, on all of them, because we're going to end up dragging files out of these folders, and so they can't be zipped or things will not get dragged out of them, so just click, right click and hit extract all. Um, you're going to end up doing this for all of these, uh, so it might take a, a, just a, a quick minute, but it is necessary for this mod to get installed correctly. Alright, so do this for all of them. And yeah. Alright, so we now have open folders for all of these mods, so we can go ahead and move the zip folders out of the way because we don't need them anymore and we just need these open folders alright so once we have all the open folders for the mod we're gonna go down to our start menu type in percent app data percent and hit enter and it'll open up our roaming folder and then we're gonna go to our dot minecraft folder alright now once you're in here you're gonna see that you're gonna have your bins resources save stats texture packs and that those last two things just go directly into your bin folder and then go directly to this Minecraft executable jar file and right click on it and then open it with either WinRAR or 7-zip, whichever one you're going to use. Alright, so once you're in this folder, you're going to want to quickly locate, or like, you know, first off, locate the meta INF folder right here, which is in all capital letters, it says meta INF. Right click on that and hit delete files and then click yes and it'll delete the uh, meta INF. This is necessary because it disables mods, so we're going to need to delete that or the mod will definitely not work. Alright, so once we've done that, we can minimize our .minecraft folder. And we'll just need our minecraft.jar. So we're going to go to our mod loader folder that we uh, that is on our desktop and grab all the class files in there and drag them directly into our minecraft.jar. Now once we've done that, we're good to go. So we can exit out of the mod loader folder. We no longer need it, so we can move it out. And then we have our audio mods folder right here. Open that one up and grab all the files in there and drag them into the minecraft.jar as well. Then we have our GUI API. Grab all the files in there and drag them as well into the minecraft.jar so basically for mod loader, audio mod, and GUI API just drag all the files into your minecraft.jar alright so we're actually done with our minecraft.jar so we can exit out of that we don't need it anymore we're gonna head back into our .minecraft folder so just back once out of our bin folder and we're back in this place that says bin resources, saves, stats, texture packs, all that um, so straight away you want to right click and create a new folder and name it mods M-O-D-S in all lowercase letters. Alright, once you've done that you can go ahead and open that up and we're going to go ahead and open up our Mo Creatures mod. Then we're going to go directly into the mods folder in our Mo Creatures mod, open it up and drag the zip file into um, the mods folder that we just created in our .minecraft folder. Once we've done that we can exit out of our mod folder for now. And we can go to our resources folder, which is in our .minecraft folder. All right, now once we've done that, we're going to go to the resources in our uh, Mo Creatures mod folder and grab in that file or that little folder and drag it into our resources folder in our .minecraft folder. All right, so once we've done that, we can go back into our mods folder. And we can exit out of our Mo Creatures mod, and then we can go into our custom mob spawner, and we can go ahead and just uh, drag the whole zip folder. Where is it? Uh, crap. Um, custom okay you don't really need to extract the custom mob spawner you just need to drag in the whole zip folder like you did for this part right here just drag in the zip folder into your mods folder and you should be done installing this mod so let's recap what we did real quickly uh, we dragged all the files from audio mod mod letter and GUI API into our minecraft.jar and then from mo creatures we dragged the necessary files into the mods folder and into our resources folder and then we dragged the custom mob spawner zip file into the mods folder in our .minecraft folder. Alright, so once you've done those four things, you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and open up our Minecraft and hit run. 
Well, I don't need to know. I don't need to tell you how to open up your Minecraft folder. That's common sense, or you shouldn't be playing the game. <laughs> all right, so let's just uh, check and make sure that it installed correctly, which it should have because I did all the steps correctly. So let's see if we can find some of these stupid animals. All right, would you look at that? I found me a bear. Look at him. Would you look at that? Would you Would you look at him? Would you look at him? No, <laughs> but seriously, I did find a bear. Oh my gosh, he's attacking me. Look at him. He's a grizzly bear. Oh, oh get away from me. <laughs> but seriously, as you can see, the mod did um, install correctly as I run away from this grizzly bear. But it did install correctly, and if you follow this tutorial, you'll have the mod installed in no time. So anyways, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video and also a comment letting people know that it worked for you. And if you want to subscribe, that'd be awesome too because I'll be uploading mod tutorials and other gaming videos uh, to come. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch my next one. See ya.